This is baleen from a humpback whale. It's that stuff attached to the whale's mouth. But how does baleen work? I thought baleen was just a bunch of string or hair that's connected to the whale's jaws, but I was wrong. Take a look from the side. This is one plate of baleen. It's hard and stiff and kind of smells like cat food. A bunch of these plates are sandwiched together side by side on the whale's upper jaw. Now check this out. One edge of the baleen is fringed. It feels like straw or a very thick brush. The fringed plates form a tangled hairy mess on the inside of the whale's mouth. So when a whale would like to eat, it takes a big gulp of water, then uses its tongue to force the water through the tangled mess of baleen. The tangled mess acts like a screen that filters out krill and other small fish for the whale to eat. This made me wonder, do all whales have baleen? Well, turns out some whales do not. Here's the skull from a beluga whale. Look here, there's no baleen on this jaw. Instead, a bunch of teeth, which made me wonder, what do the largest whale teeth look like? Well, take a look at these. Here are some teeth from a sperm whale, the largest toothed whale on planet Earth. Some are nice and sharp for piercing the skin of prey, while others are smooth for crushing and tearing. Here are some chimpanzee teeth. A sperm whale tooth is the size of the entire chimpanzee skull. Everything on whales is massive, like this vertebra. To understand how big this is, let's get a reference. We'll start with a mouse vertebra. Here's one from a squirrel. Now a vertebra from a raccoon, chimpanzee, bear, giraffe, and finally, a fin whale. It's a lot bigger, but pretty much looks just like the rest. Here's something that's totally different. How does a whale breathe? I thought they could breathe through their mouths, but I was wrong. Whales cannot breathe through their mouths. Of course, they do breathe through here. This hole on the top of a whale's head is a blowhole. But what is a blowhole? The answer surprised me. Take a look at this chimpanzee skull. See this hole? It's connected to the chimpanzee's nostrils, allowing them to breathe through their nose. Now imagine if the chimpanzee had a much longer face. You'll get something that looks like this, a coyote skull. That nose hole is now up here at the front. Now imagine if instead of being at the front of the skull, its nose hole was way up here. You get something like this. Now that nose hole isn't at the front. It's up here at the top on this whale skull. So a whale's blowhole is basically a whale's nostrils located at the top of its head. Specimen use made possible by the University of Michigan Museum of Zoology.